Hey guys, Necron370 here, and I'm wondering if you guys gotten your steel cut commemorative charm for Forge yet. This one of a kind, genuine, limited run commemorative uh, facsimile is a perfect way to pay your respects to the fallen favorite son of the Outlands. The often imitated, but never defeated, except for the one-time hyper-fighting Federation champion, Jimmy Forge McCormick. Gone, but not forgotten. So first thing you might be wondering is, where did we find this? As you drop in, uh, you're going to want to make your way to the sorting factory. Now this doesn't always pop up. Um, I only found this twice uh, since the February uh, 4th update, I'm pretty sure it was. So after landing in Sorting Factory, uh, you will want to make your way to the train station in the middle with the four loot boxes, which as you can see here on the map, I'm just inside of the Sorting Factory. Off to one of the sides, you will see um, a glowing red death box. Inside it, it will have Forge's item, and the only item inside is the commemorative steel cut charm. So you can go ahead and pick this up. Every single person in your squad can pick this up. So, what is really known about Forge? Uh, confident yet humble, Forge uses his size, strength, heavy-duty shatter gauntlets to batter opponents into submission. He was a five-time hyperion fighting champion, now sponsored by uh, Hammond Robotics and the Apex Games. The setup for Forge's interview could be seen after the Season 4 announcement. A death box later appears after Forge got assassinated by Revenant, which only contained a special commemorative charm called Steel Cut, after which picking it up you will have it forever. As of now, his death box has disappeared and the charm itself is actually his medallion and is the only in-game item that is related to him and can be obtained. Uh, you can check out the uh, Apex Wiki um, link to Forge. If you're wanting to know a little bit more about him and what his abilities would have been. But again, he never made it, and uh, all we have to remember him by is his commemorative coin. A little bit on the personal side of Forge. According to him, he and Bangalore used to date. However, Bangalore clarifies he merely sexually harasses her on time to time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you found this video helpful and uh, if you're lucky, hopefully you got your own Forge medallion. Uh, until next time, everybody, I've been Necron370. Stay frosty, my friends.